Hi, Bob from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to download a model from Polygon.com, bring it into Cinema 4D, position it correctly in our scene, and then render it out with Redshift. Okay, so before we head over to Cinema 4D, we're going to need to download a model. So currently, they're located in under the Textures menu and then Models Beta. Uh, I'm assuming very soon they'll have their own category, but for now, that's where they are. And the model we're going to be using is Food Platter 002. Now, you've got a couple of options here before you hit download. First of all, you need to select the application. Now, in this case, we're using Cinema 4D. And then you have the rendering choices below. Um, please note that the default physical render is not currently supported, um, but Arnold, Corona, Octane, Redshift, and V-Ray are. So, we're using Arnold today. No, we're not. We're using Redshift. So, <laughs> yes. So, let's select Redshift uh, and then hit download which is a step I'm going to skip because I've already got that saved to my hard drive um, but obviously you put it wherever you want it to go. Now there's an additional step and that is um, for to avoid any issues with the textures when you import them um, you need to make sure that they're in the same directory as the uh, the, the file that they're being appended to, your normal sort of Cinema 4D folder setup. So what you would do is go down to Food Platter 02, Software, Cinema 4D, Redshift, or whatever rendering you're using, and then copy the C4D and text fo uh, folder uh, and hit Copy. Then navigate to wherever your files are, like I've got mine here, um, and I've already imported this, but you just right mouse button and paste make sure those files are in there and you do that for whatever for whatever models you're bringing into the project it just makes it a lot easier and saves you having to manually try and reassign textures and find them and whatnot anyway with that done let's head over to cinema 4d and this is the uh, basic scene that I have set up here um, not much to it really just a couple of kitchen counters a HDR light um, and yeah that's about it we'll be using the perspective camera as our rendering camera and at this point I'm going to go file and then merge this is how we're going to bring in our um, our model so let's go to food platter 002 and hit open so once that's been imported just grab all of the food items and now it's just a matter of positioning so let's move that to about here and then rotate it a little maybe yeah and then grab it up the vertical axis to about zoom in a bit to make sure we get it right to about there and then we'll just position it somewhere like that yeah now that should look good and now if we hit render we'll see that it's brought in all the materials and everything else for us. Excellent, so in true Redshift style, that has been rendered very, very quickly, and we have our food platter in our scene. Um, as you can imagine, it's very easy and very quick to quickly populate the scene with these models. So in summary, we've downloaded a model from Polygon.com, brought it into Cinema 4D, positioned it correctly in our scene, and then rendered it out with Redshift.